Prometheus is the mythological hero who rebels against injustice, cruelty, and despotic order and establishes a new order. In ancient Greek mythology, chaos was at the beginning of everything in the creation of the universe. From chaos, Gaia, Earth, and Eros, love, are born. Mother Earth brings forth a being that will protect and cover itself, Uranus, sky. By uniting with it, it gives birth to giants and giants. These are three genera, Titans, Cyclops, Hecatonchus. Uranus was disgusted with these creatures created by Gaia, so he stuffed each of them into his mother's womb as soon as they were born. Mother Earth, swollen and swollen, looks for a solution to get rid of her endless birth pains. He gives his children a scythe made of white steel to take revenge on their father, but none of them are willing to do this. Until Kronos, the last child she gave birth to, took the scythe, cut off Uranus' genital organ, and sat on the throne. This is the first rebellion and first revolution in history. Kronos, who took the sovereignty from Uranus, behaves just like his father. Kronos' wife Rhea is upset about this situation and finds a solution with the help of Uranus and Gaia. As soon as his son Zeus was born, he kidnapped him to the island of Crete and entrusted him to Gaia and Uranos. She makes Kronos swallow a swaddled stone as her child. When the day comes, Zeus makes his father vomit all his brothers. He overthrows Kronos with his mind and arm strength and sits on the throne of the gods. This is the second rebellion and second revolution in history. The second revolution is a matter of reason. The gods of the first generation, who realized that they were harmed by brute force and learned from what happened to them, are guides as representatives of reason to defeat the second generation that overthrew them. The first revolution means the defeat of brute force by itself, and the second revolution means the defeat of brute force by reason. When Zeus overthrew his belt along with Kronos, the Titans revolted. A fierce war begins between the two generations of God. Kronos defeats the Titans after a great battle. Thus ends the rule of the Titans. Zeus sits on the throne of the gods and distributes world domination among his brothers and children to create a solid order. While all gods manage their share of the land, they must also obey Zeus' command. The only one who rebels against this order is Prometheus. Prometheus is from the lineage of Titans and has three brothers, Atlas, Minoishos, and Epimetheus. Zeus places Atlas at the edge of the world and puts the dome of the sky on his shoulders, strikes Minoishos with lightning and locks him in the ground, makes a woman, Pandora, trouble Epimetheus, ties Prometheus to the rocks with chains and feeds his liver to the eagle. Zeus had a special grudge against these four titans. All four of them were superior in mind and they boasted of this superiority and attempted to oppose Zeus. Seeing this power in someone else creates unquenchable anger within him, and Prometheus fuels this anger. Prometheus created man from clay that he needed with his own tears, in order to avenge his ancestors, Titans, and to end the domination of Zeus, who ruled the world according to his will, like a harsh, ruthless, ruthless tyrant. The order established by Prometheus was humiliating for the gods. It is in order to take revenge on this wound of honor that Zeus does not give fire to people. Prometheus opposed the divine order and eventually succeeded in changing the order by deceiving Zeus and giving people fire, that is, light and civilization. Now the third rebellion and third revolution has occurred. Zeus chained Prometheus to the steep rocks in the Caucasus Mountains. An eagle appointed by the gods gnaws the liver of Prometheus, who regenerates every night. The half-god, half-mortal Heracles, the son of Zeus, saves him from this torture in the Caucasus Mountains. Prometheus always says this throughout his tortured life, there will be no end to my tortures unless Zeus falls from his throne. In the legend of Prometheus, there is an endless conflict between the thinkers who want to find and keep human civilization alive and the power that holds all the possibilities. Prometheus giving fire, which is a constructive and creative power, to man, that is, man's realization of his own creative power, and the passing of fire, which is a symbol of civilization, to people also signifies the beginning of a great universal revolution. Under the leadership of Prometheus, humanity has created its own civilization and gained its freedom, and will continue to do so by resisting the powers that control everything.